Welcome back everyone and I am so excited to be a part of the Aussie YouTube Hop for the month of February. The theme this month is Beautiful Australia. There are 13 very talented ladies participating this month so please hop along to all their channels and check out their lovely creations. All you have to do is Click on the link that I will uh, put in the description below and that will put you on to the next participants and they will have a link to the next participant and so on and so on. And we would really, really be great if you showed all the ladies some love just by liking and commenting on all, their on all our videos. That would be absolutely wonderful. So My Beautiful Australia is, the, is a wonderful little place that we like to camp at, uh, usually on a yearly basis. It's called the Basin. And it's in New South Wales. It's a gorgeous place where we do some very natural camping. There are no caravans in sight. There are no powered sites. It's just nature. There are wallabies and goannas and wild bush turkeys. It is just nature at its best. Look at that photo of the cedary and that's what greets us every morning. My other photo is of a very cheeky wallaby who decided to help himself to someone's picnic. Obviously a poor family left a lovely picnic spread and decided to take a dip since uh, summer can be quite hot here in Australia. And uh, yeah, this cheeky little wallaby went, well, I'll help myself to some lunch. I'm going to be matching these photos with some very old pattern paper here. This is from 2014. It's authentic paper and it's called Legendary. And I'm also using those pattern scissors that were all the rage a very very long time ago i got mine from kmart and yeah i just saw them there and i thought i'd give them a bit of a dusting and now i'm just distressing all the edges i really really like the look of that my next thing that i also reacquainted myself with is this very old trimmer that cuts little waves and i just thought why not a representation of the sea so using the handy trimmer i just cut uh well, waves, I guess that's what they call it, aren't they? And uh, just some wavy patterns and then doing a bit of paper piercing. And I match my two photos in exactly the same way and it just gives this lovely wave effect. Once I have my two photos all matted in this lovely little wave formation, I'm going to be getting my distressing tool and just distressing all the edges. My next big decision is going to be choosing my background paper. But um, I found that I was using the Kaisercraft Deep Sea Collection here and it made things so much easier. And in the end, I chose the lovely background paper seafloor. I just loved all the sort of seaweedy patterns going on there. And I just gave it a quick trim, about two or three mils all around on all four sides because I know that I will be matching my paper, uh, I usually do this with Kaisercraft paper only because I find them a bit thin. I do like my paper a lot thicker, so by matching them on some cardstock, it just gives them a bit more strength. I then decided that I wanted to add some gold to the edges. Don't ask me why, but it just hit me and I got out my embossing ink from Ranger and then I'm getting it out for my gold embossing powder and I'm just going to sprinkle that all around and Hit emboss it and I really like the effect that that has. It's, um, I guess it brings out the colours in the photos more, makes everything pop, especially once I put it against the main background paper, that seafloor paper. It just needed that pop of colour. In my stash of stencils, I found this lovely tree stencil, which I thought um, looked very similar to the trees at the basin. So what I did was I got some of my embossing paste. I made mix some of the thinner bear uh, red rust and then I added a bit of gold rust and then that wasn't enough it just wasn't the color I wanted so I added a bit of the brown rust effect as well and that gave me what I believe was the perfect color for my trunk of the stencil for the canopy of the tree I'm going to do a very similar process but this time I'm adding the color burst uh, ter terra verde and I'm then going to be adding, oh, what was it? Oh, yes, a bit of the mint green rust effect. I just thought that it was just a bit too bluey, and then I still wasn't happy. So I added the Nouveau Expanding Mousse, because I was trying to get it to blend in more with that background paper. 
And then I do believe that I add a bit more of, yes, I do, of that little mint green. So it's just a matter of playing around till you get the the colour that you that you want. So I'm just uh, stenciling this on, and you will see that once I pull it off, it just gives it this beautiful effect. I just love that. I love the tree. I in real life, it just absolutely looks gorgeous, or to me anyway. That little saying there was from the authentic paper that I used to map the photo, and it says. For like a rugged tree, you are hard and sound at the core. And it was a saying by H. Rigger Haggard. I just love that saying. So anyway, here I've got some cheesecloth and I'm just spraying it with some Distress uh, Spray Stain. And, oh, what's the colour I am using? I, oh, Shabby Shutters. That's what it is, Shabby Shutters. So then I went to my cuddle bug and I had this kangaroo die cut die. So I've just cut out four kangaroos, but I believe I only used two. I'm just putting some glue on them and then I'm going to add some of this lovely glitter. When I saw this uh, kangaroo dye, I just knew I had to use it because of my little wallaby in the photo. And I also like that it's got like an Aboriginal pattern all through the kangaroo, which is also representative of Australia. And this is my mistake on the layout. I decided to do some stamping and it absolutely looked terrible. I didn't like it at all. So I'm just going to leave it for now as I think how I'm going to salvage that big, big, big mistake. Off camera, I did glue down the photos as well as the cheesecloth. I just wasn't aware that I wasn't filming at the time. I'm sorry about that, but you all know how, you, I'm sure you all know how to glue down things. I was going through my stash of goodies that I got for Christmas and I found these beautiful flowers that were sort of that sort of brownie colour that's... Um, Reminiscent of the Australian bush, and since I live in the bush, I am well aware of that brown colour, especially during drought like now. So I love these flowers, and that covers up all that horrible stamping. I decided my lovely kangaroos needed a pop of something behind them, so I got some scrappy paper that I had in my stash, and I just uh, has to cut around it and just gluing it down now, and I'm really liking how this layout is coming together. So my layout is nearly complete. I'm just going to mat it on this cardstock. I don't really know what that colour is, but it complements all the colours in my layout quite nicely, so that's what I'm going to use. These American Craft uh, Glitter Foam Stickers, they're called Chill, and I'm going to use them for my title. So I'm going to use the Getaway that came from the Chill Alpha uh, Stickers, and for some reason, it was just too glittery. It was just not in the way. So what I did was I got some of the <coughs> Prima Finibare, or what is it, metallic wax, and I just uh, toned it down, that gold. I toned it down just by rubbing my finger over, and I quite like the look of that. And then I took out the Kaiser Craft Alpha, Alpha um, stamps, and I wrote out the word basin using my Tim Holtz little stamping tool there and just fussy cutting out the words and I stuck the word the basin so yeah so dirt is just using these puffy stickers there and so the base uh, the basin the title is going to be the basin getaway then I found these in my stash which I got at the Kaiser Craft DFO store and they're like little rocks or whatever they're called whatever they are and I just thought yes it's a it can be rocky at the basin. There's little rocky areas, especially along the sea base there. So I just put them along the base of the tree and so that the kangaroo didn't look like they were just floating everywhere. I just grounded them on these little stones there. And then I thought I would uh, use these stones for the centre of the flowers as well, just to tie it all in. I'm just using my Tombow glue to glue down their little little stones because I didn't want them falling all over the place and I do know that this glue is quite strong. So this really brings us to the end of the layout. Thank you all so much for watching and please don't forget to uh, click on the other participants um, link that will be in the description and thank you all so much. Please like and comment and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channels and all the other ladies as well. They'd love uh, some love from everybody since everyone put so much effort and there are some still shots coming up till next time stay safe and i will see you all very soon bye everybody